Good morning, thanks for joining me. I hope everybody's well and having a good week. Today we have got my March update for the war on stuff, the war on clutter. I've talked about this a few times since the beginning of the year. Um, I was trying to reduce my shopping. Um, I was trying to use up more stuff. I was just generally trying to have less stuff in my life. Then last month in February, I did the first video in a series for this year of a project which I don't think I've got a name for it. Balancing the books was it or something like that? Anyway it doesn't matter. It's a war on clutter basically and um, I did the first video and the, the category I'm looking at is beauty and makeup and skincare because I have got so much of that and it's something that seems to multiply in my life. There's lots of stashes of it in all sorts of different places and I wanted to ensure that I was using more of it up than is coming into the house. Sorry, I'm fiddling with my hair, I'm aware. I can't really sit, let me put my glasses on. Actually, that's no good at all because my glasses are not clean. <laughs> anyway, this is the March update and I will put the little... Um, February results card on the screen now so you can see we ended up in February with minus 11 so I ended up at the end of February with 11 less products than I started it out with and I'm going to do the same for March work out what's come and show you what's going out show you what's come in and then we will add it all up and see where we are and then do a cumulative total for the year to date as well. I have to say although I'm only doing this project sort of on camera as far as the beauty stuff is concerned it has made me very mindful about stuff coming in and much more thoughtful and considered um certainly with the beauty stuff it has put me off buying stuff because I want the out pile to be bigger than the in pile on a monthly basis um, and I found myself halfway through the month a friend told me that Sephora had a discount code quite a good discount code and I found myself on the Sephora website filling up my basket before thinking if I buy all this I'm gonna have to add it all into you know the incoming and I might not do so and it really put me off so I didn't buy any of it but um just goes to show how easy and mindless it would be to do that you know without thinking it through um I think this project is really helping me the other thing that struck me the other day is to declutter as though you're moving house we haven't moved house in just over 10 years now and um I remember the dec we moved three times, three times since Will was five? Since we've been married, we've moved one, two, three, four times, four times, four, four different, five different houses, four moves. Um, and when you move house, you declutter properly, don't you? You really, do I want to take this to the next house? No. And I feel like when I declutter, I ought to be decluttering in a moving house frame of mind all the time because it's so easy isn't it to just hang on to things that we go oh well I could just use that I might need I mean might need that I've got the space I'll keep it but I want to declutter in a moving house mindset that is what I'm going to do anyway let's get on with this I'm going to show you and give you very brief reasons for what I'm getting rid of and you know um all of that we're going to categorize it um, then I'm going to add it all up so let's without further ado sorry I've got an itchy nose I have an itchy nose so often when I film um, this was a Goose Creek body lotion it was absolutely gorgeous blood orange really really nice it's quite difficult to get Goose Creek stuff in this country now because of Brexit but I would love to be able to get it again more easily right that is only in there for the purposes of sending to Boots to the recycling. Um, this was a Rituals shower gel. I think it came in an advent calendar or a glossy box or something. Harmonising foaming shower gel. The Ritual it was Indian rose and sweet almond oil. It was very pleasant, but there was hardly anything in there. It, it sort of comes out in a soapy thing. Uh, um, well, like a gel and then it goes soapy, but... Um, but it, it only lasted about four showers. I, I found it a bit, yeah, not, not great, that one. Um, this was a hand cream. This was sent to me ages ago. Um, it, was, it was a brand that I think it was like a charitable brand, developed with nurses using naturally derived ingredients. Um, 
dermatologist approved for dry sensitive or sore skin so it was the idea of nurses could use it I didn't love it. It felt quite. No, it didn't feel like it did an awful lot. It was my problem. It, it a completely unfragranced, which is fine. Um, it would need to be for nurses, but um, yeah, I, I I just didn't love it. So yeah, a bit disappointing that one. Wouldn't buy that one again. This was a face cream, Pry Prey. I think that came in a Marks and Spencer's box. Cheeky buggers, look at that. And then it's got this domed bit inside that only goes down to about there. So it makes it look more than it is. Um, this was not good for my face. It was very, very rich and very nice. But um, when a cream is too rich for my face, I get those little, um, can't remember what the keto pilaris or something the little white bumps underneath my skin anyway i started getting these i suspected i might do when i use this so i stopped using it on my face and finished it up on my body instead so that one i wouldn't buy again this came in a glossy box it's some sort of body's peppermint coffee scrub um it's just i'm sure it could be a nice product but it's in this packaging. It just feels like messy packaging once it's opened to keep in the shower or next to the shower or, you know, I'd rather have something with a, a lid that went on. So that one I'm going to pass on um, to somebody who would be interested in having it. Um, oh, this one I only used last night, actually. That's a sheet mask. It was very, very nice. I can't tell you anything about it because the writing is in Korean, I suspect. But it was lovely. Right, let me... Balance that on something where it's not going to drip all over the table. Just rub the serum into my hands as well. <laughs> A bonus. Um, this was another cream that was sent, a hand cream that was sent to me by the same people as this one at the same time. This is full. Because I didn't love this one, I've decided to pass this one on to someone who may enjoy it more than me. So that's a pass on one. Um, this is a lash thing. Pro eyelash serum. Uh, um, grow your lashes thing I can't remember where this came from but I've already got one that I haven't even opened yet that I purchased from the ordinary so I really don't need another one it's another thing this project is doing making me really look at stuff and think do I need that do I need it am I going to use it any time before it goes off Fa setting spray I like this this is about my third bottle of this one at the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go it's apparently a two-in-one primer and setting spray I've never used it as a primer but it's a pretty good setting spray I liked that one um this, why did I buy a lilac colored lip gloss so the NYX this is milky gloss and this this got me on a three for two one of those three for twos in boots and it, it's just you know It actually looks nicer on my hair. It's very, very cool tone. It's very definitely a lilac-y purple, and it makes me look a bit dead, to be honest, when I wear it. So it's not a good look, so that can be passed on to someone who likes it. This one is Miracle Touch found Skin Perfecting Foundation. Um, it's one of these. I have used it quite a bit. It's not quite the right shade for me, and it's sort of a cream foundation but it's very, very light coverage. Not quite the right shade, not enough coverage for me. Just, I, I put it away and I'm, I know I'm not going to reach for it and pull it out again, so that one's going. These are little de-puffing eye masks. I quite like those on occasion. That was um, very nice indeed. Enjoyed that one. This is a plumping lip gloss from Primark, which was just okay, but I find it, re I've used it down to about there, I don't know if you can see, um, but it, it dries my lips out, this one, for some reason, I don't know why, so that one is going. Um, this was a little facial serum that I think must have come in some sort of, I certainly didn't buy it, so Advent calendar or glossy box or something. Perfectly pleasant, didn't seem to last very long, but yeah, very nice indeed. I don't think I'd necessarily, um, you know, seek it out again, probably. This, I don't remember this from Vlogmas, this is the Ageless Upper Arm Cream. Now, how bizarre is it to have a cream just for upper arms? I found it very unintuitive. If I put it on my upper arms, I really wanted to put it on my lower arms as well, so I used it all over my arms. Did I notice a massive difference? No, to be honest. Would I buy something specifically for my upper arms? No, to be honest. Um, pleasant enough, but gimmicky. 
gimmick here's my full thoughts on that one that needs to go over there I'm just sectioning this off as I um, go through this was one of the Zara Jo Malone collab um, this was a fragrance hand and body wash water lily tea dress perfectly pleasant not my favorite fra my favorite fragrance in this um, collab is the Amalfi Sunray which is a gorgeous summer scent which is on my list to buy for summer actually um, Olaplex hair stuff um quite liked it this grew on me the more i used it i think it's probably quite good i don't know if i pay the price for a full one but i've got another this size one um in the cupboard which i will definitely use up um perfume this was my monthly perfume subscription this was the twilly damez O ginger didn't love it wouldn't purchase that again it, interesting to try but i didn't love it um, and this was from a little Penhaligon's um, perfume set of sort of like a try, try the different fragrances set. I'm sure there's a word for that that is not coming to me at the moment. Changing Constance is the name of this one. And I didn't love that one. It was, it was just okay. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. Um, this was another sheet mask, 111 Skin. Um, really nice one, that one. I do like that brand, but I think it's quite pricey if you buy it. I've got I'm chucking stuff everywhere now. Um, little mini drunk elephant moisturiser. Really nice. I liked that a lot. This is a body cream. Um, I, as you can see, I cut it in half to get all the product out. The Ultra Repair First Aid Beauty Cream. I, it, it was just okay. It didn't have any fragrance. I do like my, my body creams to have a bit of fragrance to them so they feel like a bit of an indulgence to use. This is an autograph lipstick, lip balm, colour balm lip shine. That's the colour. I'm going to say sorry about that. The battery died and I don't know how, how far it got. Did we get as far as this one? The autograph lip balm stick is too bright for me. I'm going to see if my mum would like that one. It's more her sort of colour. Um, and then finally, 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 is this eyeshadow palette from last month, which I bought last month. I was very excited about and I mentioned to you that uh, I felt like it wasn't for me in the... Um, it, it's so sad, but I'm going to sell that one on because it just, it's very rare that I feel like that with an eyeshadow palette that I buy, but um, it just, I, I know that I won't get the use out of it, so I'd rather that one moved along, but lovely, but not for me. Right, I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to add up all the sections, um, we've got skincare, body, makeup, perfume, and I'm sure there's one other that I haven't thought of, um, but I will be back. Right, we have six makeup items, two perfumes, seven skincare items, one hair care item, eight body care items, which is a tw total of 24 items going out this month. Right, let's see how many we've got coming in. I haven't counted up. And I hope I'm going to have some good justification. Let's start with this month's glossy box, which is sent to me every month um, in PR. I, I I didn't know whether to include um, things that I get sent, but I decided I will do um, for the reason that it's still stuff coming into the house, isn't it? Um, even if I haven't bought it myself, it's still coming into the house. So that's really... My, um, my my reasoning behind that right we've got a niacinamide serum from jaw gobi which i've never heard of but i will definitely use that nice little size for travel and i like niacinamide as a skincare ingredient this is a color wow product one minute transformation styling cream which instantly re-moisturizes create the perfect curls in under 60 seconds develop for color treated hair blah 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 um it looks like we could apply a small amount of frizzy unruly areas and brush through with a flat brush to smooth away frizz okay we'll give that a go i i don't want to invite any more hair products into my life particularly because i've got an awful lot and in this month i've just noticed we've only got rid of one hair care product um but that sounds good. I do get a bit of frizz. I'm feeling like it might work through the ends. I've just had to blow dry my hair um, today to get rid of the frizz. So perhaps that will help with it. Um, we'll give it a go. Right, what is this? This is um, a perfume stick, an orasmic perfume stick. <laughs> Interesting. 
Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay, it's like a lipstick, but presumably perfect. I've already got perfume on, so I just put a little on the back of my hand. It's pleasant enough. Yeah. Something nice to keep in my handbag, possibly. Um, I've never had a perfume stick before. I quite like the look of that, actually. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that one as well. Right, this is a Loxit, this is an oldie but goodie, a Loxitan hand cream, perfect handbag size, and I always use up hand creams, so yeah, that's a keeper as well. This is how it's so easy to have new stuff coming in, you see. Um, what have we got here? Let it be something I don't want. It's um, a Phantom Liner in the colour Espresso. Right, I feel like this is something that's going to come in and go straight out again. Yeah, it's an eyeliner. Yeah, that I, I am not a um, liquid eyeliner person at all. I don't have the skills, and I feel I feel like I'm a bit old for um, liquid eyeliner personally. But um, yeah, that one is coming in and going straight out, so we won't be including that as a incoming this month as I'm not keeping it. Right, let's move on to other. My monthly perfume subscription has come in, which is Clinique Happy Woman. Um, then I also bought um, this, which is my cellar water. I usually buy the Garnier one, but this was a replacement. I pulled my last bottle of my cellar water out of the fr fridge, out of the cupboard to start using, and I bought a replacement. So I've always, I like to always have a backup of the things I use on an ongoing basis. I mentioned these in a vlog. I wanted two lip liners. I didn't have, I only had one lip liner, which was a very old Laura Mercier one. And I came to use it one morning. I could not find it anywhere. And that prompted me to go out and buy lip liners. I'm fairly new to lip liner. Um, I wanted a pink one and a coral one. I ended up with two fairly pinkish ones because of the lights in boots. <laughs> um, I feel like I probably would have been better buying online, but, um, yeah, two lip liners have come into my life. Um, then I've got, these were sent to me by The Body Shop. It's the Edelweiss range, which I absolutely love. If you need anything from Body Shop, my 20% off code is valid until the end of March. 20% off everything apart from gifting. Um, so I'll pop that in the description box. It's, it's going to stop at the end of March. So um if you need anything from body shop so there's those two those were sent also this one was sent i gave away most of this range in a um, giveaway and um, that's on its way to joe in northern ireland as we speak but i can't they sent me two of these this one the calming pillow mist lavender and vetiver i am probably going to move that one along because i've tried pillow mist before and i don't i don't particularly find that they do much for me i'm also not the world's biggest fan of lavender i'm i've warmed to lavender a bit over the last couple of years but um i think having it on my pillow when i go to sleep that i'm gonna pass that one along so that one is coming in and going straight out this one i bought without even thinking i just i've been wanting it for a while and i saw it on amazon it's the um maybelline less sensational sky high mascara primer um, which I've heard good things about. So I bought that one. And then there were two eyeshadow palettes. I've talked about this in a vlog, I think. This one, which I got on TK Maxx, very unexpectedly. It had been on my wish list for a long time and it was down to 7 99 on TK Maxx, so I bought it. And then this one came back into stock, which I've also been wanting for a while. This is on Beauty Bay and it's a neutrals palette so there's those two as well so that is what has come in this month right i'm excluding these two products because they are going straight out and i'm now going to go off camera and add all okay, that okay i've given myself a talking to and i've decided to pass on the perfume stick as well i've got lots and lots of perfume i do not need a random perfume stick so that one is going straight out as well right coming in we have five makeup items kind of annoying because these were about or at least one of these was a bad buy because i wanted a corally colored one not a pink one um so yeah that was sort of annoying one perfume as opposed to two coming in going out so that's good i guess um four skincare 
coming in against seven going out hair care is neutral because one has come in the little color wow thing and one has gone out and body care eight have gone out but only one has come in so that's a win um, so that's a total of 12 items coming in I haven't included the three that are going straight out 24 out so that is 12 out this month Tw uh, less 12 less products than i had at the beginning of the month and a grand total of 23 less products than i had at the beginning of the year which sounds good but if you saw how much stuff i had i feel like i need to make better in rows than i have done i'm actually kind of surprised i thought i had done way better than last month um in terms of i, I thought that balance would be higher i thought i would have got rid of more um, it just goes to show how easy it is for stuff to creep in and you don't even notice even when doing a project like this so anyway we are going in the right direction minus 23 for this year so far um i'll be back again at the end of next month or towards the end of next month with another roundup of how i'm doing thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one Bye bye